Hello everyone. So this is Anu from IIT Hyderabad and I am PMRF scholar. So I would like to teach you about PMRF guidelines, about PMRF FAQs and PMRF research proposal. Like how to write properly so that you will maximize your chance for selection in PMRF uh, December 2022 in the cycle 10. So as you all know, this, the notification for the cycle 10 December 2022 have already been released. So first of all, uh, let us go through the guidelines like the PMRF guidelines. What are the PMRF guidelines and uh, who people are they eligible for this? So the, the eligibility and the application process, if we, uh, if we go through, then the direct entry channel comes first. So to apply for the PMRF through this channel, the candidate must have to satisfy these three criteria. The first one is the applicant should have satisfied one of the following criteria in the preceding three years from the date of submission of the application. The application means here the PMRF application and, and completed or be pursuing the final year uh, of the four four year undergraduate or five year integrated mtech or two year msc so here the the question arises like first first of all the candidate must be in the final year of the btech four year degree or in the second year of the mtech uh, or integrated msc course so so the the thing is uh, the candidate must be from the iits uh, and the central funded technical institutes and they should have they, they should have at least of 8.0 cgp so these things uh, the candidate should be satisfied uh, or the first one is this or completed or be pursuing the final year undergraduate or five year integrated mtech or five year integrated msc msc or two year msc or five year under, undergraduate post graduation dual degree programs in science or technology but here also the gate uh, score should be greater than 650 okay so here doesn't matter whether you are from uh, cfti or not or qualified gate or and be pursuing a completed mtech ms by research at one of the pmr granting institutes so uh, if, if the question arises what are the pmr granting institutes then uh, the uh, all the iits and some nits um, come in this list so you you can also verify from the google so, on the second, second thing is uh, they should apply for the P PhD program in one of the PMRF granting institute. So, you should be applying the, uh, for the PMRF in one of the PMRF granting institute for getting PMRF fellowship. If you satisfy these three criteria. And the third thing is the PMRF granting institute which has admitted the student in the PhD program makes a strong recommendation. And also the PMRF Granting Institute should have the strong recommendation for the PMRF uh, candidate which is to be a admitted. And the third thing is the metrics which are the which are the following metrics like on what basis the PMRF uh, fellowship will be given to you. So it is not only restricted to grades. It is not only restricted to publications. It is not only restricted to certificates you have. It is it is a, a accumulation of all those stuffs. And every, uh, every everything will have some weightage. So within 12 to 18 months of admission into PhD program, the progress of the candidate will be uh, uh, will be reviewed by the PMRF National uh, Committee. So here uh, here also matters uh, the the list of journals and the publications also. The second entry is the lateral entry. Here most of the students get from the lateral entry. So, if you are already studying the PhD program in one of the PMR granting institute, then you can apply for that. Provided if you are having uh, the P, the minimum CGP criteria of 8.5 CGP, and if you have taken four long courses, four uh, three credit or four credit courses, and you have secured 8.5 uh, and above CGP, then you are eligible to apply. And here you should have your guide permission. And recommendation letter from the two of the two professors or assistant professors from your PMRF granting institute. So here the letter entry uh, channel uh, candidates will have some higher probability and also I have also seen this. So here the here the CGP criteria is 8.5 whereas for the direct entry the CGP criteria was the 8. So here the candidate continues to work in the in the host institute in which the, he has he or she is doing the PhD uh, with the PMR fellowship. 
so here and the thing is many uh, people ask this question like what are the metrics uh, on which the ca candidates will be judged but it is not restricted or um, uh, it is not restricted to particular things but yeah a strong research proposal which i'll be dealing this topic in the upcoming videos and the publication records academic records olympic records will uh, definitely add your percentage to getting a pmr fellowship and due weightage will should be given to publication in reputed journals or conference so uh, as i to told you the nominations for the pmr cycle 10, 10 and for like december 2022 has already been come and uh, we have uh, you have to contact your phd supervisor and uh, submit the nomination through your uh, institute application process so in this video uh, i like to uh, finish this up to this and in another video i will covering the faqs and other things so please comment um, if you have if you have any query i will be dealing that topic thank you so much